Live look at the courthouse in Los Angeles, where after almost three decades, uh, the Menendez brothers are making a reappearance in court. Of course, they were sentenced to life in prison for murdering their parents. They will be before a judge today to decide whether new evidence justifies a re-examination of their conviction in the shotgun murders of their parents. Joining me now is Trey Lovell, entertainment and corporate attorney for the Lovell Firm PC. Trey, thanks as always for joining us. Thanks for having me. This must be generating a lot of interest down there. What's your read on it? What do you think is going to happen today? You know, it, it is. It's getting exciting. This is kind of the first step that the Menendez brothers are taking to really try to get, get out of jail. Um, this is a, a, a hearing based on a petition for rid of habeas corpus, which means uh, it's based on the fact that evidence has been discovered after the trial that had it been known at the time of trial may have rendered a different verdict. So the judge is going to take a look at that and see if that evidence is compelling enough uh, to potentially set aside the, the convictions. Um, and then after this, we will be discussing resentencing next month, which is another effort to, to try to get the boys out of prison. What is the evidence that has come to light, and what do, you, do you think it's strong enough? You know, it's pretty compelling. There was an issue at the, first, at the second trial where they were convicted, whether or not they had suffered sexual abuse, which could have given them a manslaughter charge as opposed to an, a premeditated murder charge. Um, and the new evidence that has come about is a declaration from one of the Amanuto performers who claims that the father also molested him. And then there is a letter that was discovered from Eric Menendez to his brother, kind of reflecting the, the abuse that was happening, saying, you know, talking about the father, which kind of corroborates the boy's position that they were being sexually abused, um, which could have given them a reason, a justification for having killed their parents. Now, this is difficult because it's three decades on. What kind of strength do those accusations have at this time? You know, it's been a long time, but there's been a, a whirlwind of support in a number of different ways. Not only do you have this mo these motions coming up, but you've had a number of celebrities that have come out really kind of supporting the, the brothers, the family members, all except for one have come out saying, yes, you should release them, supporting them. You know, there have been a, a number of, of documentaries uh, on the brothers, one in particular from Netflix, that kind of shed light on, on the killing. So a lot has happened recently. Uh, that's got a lot of a lot of support for for the brothers, and it could be compelling enough to, to to let them out. And we're almost out of time. But what options does the judge have here? What could we possibly see unfold? So today, the options are the the judge could either want to see more evidence, um, and then have an evidentiary hearing, or if he believes that the evidence given it is enough, he could actually vacate the convictions, um, and then either they could be retried or just uh, uh, let out. Okay, Trey, always appreciate your insight. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Trey Lovell is an entertainment and corporate attorney with the Lovell Firm PC. Here, 